Okay. I remember having lunch and I asked you, if I gave you a pill that would make you straight, would you take it? And you were like, yes! <laughs> Welcome to our video! Yay! <laughs> and today we'll be talking about queer community. Woo! With my friend Jason! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hello, <Hi>. Tim. <laughs> are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So, Jason, are you from Hong Kong? Yeah, so I was born here. Aww. and uh, But I used to study in the UK. Okay, so where in the UK? In Northern Ireland. Can you do an Irish accent? <gasps> Not now. Oh. I'm not drunk enough. <laughs> um, so but I left Hong Kong when I was nine okay. um, to study in a boarding school. Okay. Uh, and I stayed in the UK for 10 years okay. uh, before coming back to Hong Kong for okay. university. So I've really, I've like long term stayed in Hong Kong yeah. for the past five, six years. Okay. Yep. Oh. So I studied uni. Okay. In Hong okay. Kong, yeah. Oh, nice. Which yeah. uni did you go to? Uh, Chinese U. Oh, yeah. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Thanks. So, when did you graduate? You graduated uh, recently. Late 2021. No. Yeah. No, December 20. I thought you graduated last summer. No, I didn't. Oh, no, well, I started working last summer. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, I graduated okay. in uh, December 2021. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. I know. Oh, okay. So, would you like to tell us what your theme is today? So, my theme is uh, coming out and self-acceptance. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. And how's it related to queer community? Yeah, so, well, a little bit about my background, yeah. basically. So, you know, I come from a very straight family, yeah. as I think sure everyone is. <laughs> um, and uh, I, my mom and dad, my, I, have, mm. I have two siblings, so mm. my brother and my sister, they're both older than me. Mm. Um, and, uh, mm. but, you know, I grew up in the UK, so I feel like um, I've been exposed to, like, a lot of Western culture. And I think mm. in the West, you know, things like being gay and, you know, being very confident in your sexuality, is something mm. seen as a more normal, um, you know, and in my family as well, um, as I was saying, you know, they're very traditional. Um, so their whole plan for me growing up was uh, for me to, you know, get a girlfriend, you know, uh, get married and, you know, buy a place mm. in Hong Kong, have kids and die. <laughs> Basically, yeah. like that's it. So when I finished high school and I came back mm. to Hong Kong, I realized back then, you know, if I don't tell them that I'm gay, mm. I'm not gonna have a very easy life at mm. home. Especially because I, I like till mm. this day I'm still living at home with mm. them. And I realized back then that I a lot of the times I was very angry with my family. Mm. But I don't think it was because they were doing anything wrong to me. But I think I was just very angry at the world. Um, mm. because, you know, I see a lot of like, you know, at day to day life, I mm. see a lot of straight people. <laughs> And I guess, <laughs> yeah, we do see a lot of straight and, um, people. And I think, you do. Yeah. And they're I think, kind of unavoidable. And I think, <laughs> I think, and I'm just angry at the fact that they're able to mm. live life so easily, yeah. um, whereas I wasn't able yeah. to. Yeah. So that was when I decided to come out to my family. Okay. Um, but and I, so I came out to my mom mm. first. Actually, my sister first. Oh, how did uh, that go? Uh, horribly. Oh. So she oh. wasn't very well. I mean, she was accepting for like ten minutes. Okay. And then she was like, "Oh, I actually, I did. I, I'm angry at you." And she was, oh. and I was like, "Why?" And she says, "Because she thinks of lied to her for the past." 18 oh, years okay. because she's like oh i don't even know who you are anymore oh and, okay and then so ever since then like we don't really get on oh, um no. and then but then so i came out to her actually when i was still in the uk okay um and then when i came back to hong kong for uni i came out mm. to my mom okay and she i mean she's kind of accepting okay. i think it depends mm. like there are days when she she's quite she's accepting okay. and then sometimes she gets like selective dementia and then okay. she forgets that i'm gay oh okay and she's like oh when are you getting a girlfriend and oh. i'm like already told you like six oh. times i, I know a hundred times that oh, i'm not no. straight but it's yeah so living at home is not easy okay I so that was a challenge yeah for that sure that was really difficult yeah 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 so how did queer community help you with that situation um, in a lot of ways, I think. I mean, you. So I met you two years ago, yes! now, three years ago now. At the first event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> you basically watched me grow up, like yeah. from a little child. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. And you have changed a lot. And I think, like back then, mm. um, I really didn't like myself, no. and I didn't like being gay. I remember having lunch, and I asked you if I gave you a pill that would make you straight, would you take it? And you were like, "Yes," <laughs> <laughs> because I just thought, you know, I think like growing up, I didn't have a lot of representation, mm. um, so I didn't know. I didn't think being gay 
would lead me to have a very happy mm. lifestyle. Like I didn't see any gay successful people yeah. in the world. There was, you know, gay people wasn't represented very well in the media. Mm. I mean, especially in like Hong Kong media too. Like yeah. gay people was represented Just horribly. Mm. Um, so I think now having this community, like mm. I'm able to see people from, you know, all around mm. the world. We have a very diverse group of people mm. all from different age range. Um, and I think because I've seen and, you know, had experience and talked to so many different mm. people, like it really made me realize actually you know what like being gay you can still have a very happy mm -hmm. and successful life like it's not that bad yeah. like it yeah <laughs> like life can yeah. still be a, you can amazing. have a nice gay life exactly yeah. my life is uh, fabulous and you know what now yeah. if you ask me this question again yeah. like if i have a, a straight pill would you take a straight pill no yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I love being gay like if i was straight i'll be so boring oh <laughs> So, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So, can you give us an example of like people, like the type of people you met in queer community that changed your perspective? So, I think, I mean, I think everyone in general mm -hmm. actually changed my perspective. But I think, in particular, when I started seeing married couples mm -hmm. in our group, yeah, that was like really eye-opening for me okay. um, because I guess I never really imagined like that would be something that is possible. Yeah. Um, you know, really, you know, finding a partner, settling yeah. down, getting married. Yeah. Um, but, you know, throughout my years in the group and seeing more and more married yeah. couples in the group, uh, again, like it made me kind of look at myself and go, oh, well, actually, maybe that is a place where I can get yeah. to in the future as well. Yeah. And it's, it'll all be okay. So do you feel like it's really different to see representation like online or in on TV on representation in real life. Oh yeah, I mean I mean like the representation on TV mostly it's bad too. Yeah. Like it's not I mean it's just very stereotypical yeah. like gay people in Hong just, Kong it's not good. It's it's, it's, not, it's, it's not horrible. Good. But then like you know when you actually meet gay people in yeah. real life like you or you know when you have gay friends a gay community mm -hmm. like we're all so different mm -hmm. in our own ways and like there's so many things you can learn from mm -hmm. every single one of mm -hmm. us and it's just nice to be able to have a community where, mm. you know, I can truly be myself yeah. 100% and know that um, I won't be judged yeah. either way. Yeah. And it's just nice to have that to come home yeah. to. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah. So do you feel like your, like your personality has changed or the things you, you were dealing with anger before? Do you, st do you, do you feel that's changed? From oh, being for sure. Community? Yeah. I mean, I think, honestly speaking, like, I really don't know where I would be without this community. Like, oh. I mean, if, you know, if I, so by the time I met you, I already came out to my yeah. parents and, but then, you know, I, I think I was still not very accepting of myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I thought I was actually yeah. like, you know, I was like fooling around with mm -hmm. guys, whatever I thought. Having I, fun with Yeah, guys. I was like, okay, well, I must, I, I must yeah. love myself. But then I realized I never even, I've never even said the word I'm gay mm -hmm. out loud to myself. Because mm -hmm. I think deep down, I still think there was something wrong mm -hmm. with me. Um, but then a very prominent example, actually, that just happened recently. Mm -hmm. So when I used to meet straight people, mm -hmm. like straight guys, especially, mm -hmm. um, you know, when they would ask me about my sexuality or whatever. How they would do that? Or they, or, or they would, ask they would talk about, yeah, or things okay. like that. I would just, you know, not say anything. Yeah. Or I mean, my default answer is always, "Oh, I'm focusing on my career. Like I don't focusing have, on my career. <laughs> like I don't have time to date yeah. around or whatever." Mm -hmm. um, but then. Like last Friday, I met this straight guy mm. and he was asking me about, you know, my love life mm. and stuff. And I just straight out told him I was gay. Oh and my God, congratulations. And, you know, and I mean, actually, That's like, such a big step. he was really nice about it too. Mm. You know, we had a really nice conversation about like, mm. you know, me being gay. And he asked a lot of questions, mm. of course. Um, but I was just thinking like afterwards when I was on the way home, like I would have never have done that two, three years ago. No. So I think that is a very oh, big change. Oh, that's sure. amazing. Oh, thanks to you and everyone oh. in the room. <laughs> so what do you think is the biggest impact to have, like, to your well-being in terms of, like, accepting yourself and being in a queer community? I think I'm just a lot happier in general. Yay. Like, I don't think I'm as, I think as what Galska said as well, like, I'm not as angry yeah. in the world anymore. Like, mm. I'm... I feel like I can be happy, yeah. you know? And uh, yeah, basically That's that. That's amazing. <laughs> Yay. So proud of you. So proud of you. So proud. Yeah. Like when I first met you, you, you just hated being gay. Like I remember having a lunch with you oh, yeah. and you were like, <laughs> <laughs> but now every time I see you, you're like, hey, bitch. <laughs> 
does anyone have any questions for Jason? That was a pretty self-contained story. Yeah. Do yeah. you feel that your friendships also changed? You, mm. were, you had, um, you dared to make more friends, being more with Oh yeah, for sure. And actually, I think I always had a very, like before I met you guys, I always had a very bad view of like having gay friends like that. Okay. Because, like, you know, I've had gay friends before, yeah. um, but it wasn't a very good experience. Like mm. the gay friends that I had, they were very toxic, mm. you know, they were very judgmental mm. and they just weren't very nice. Mm. Um, so I had this view of gay people that oh you know what if all of them are like this yeah. you know all of them are horrible and like they would judge mm -hmm. me and, and that but then I think like now that I'm in this community and I meet mm -hmm. so many people and everyone's so nice mm -hmm. like it kind of took away that stigma yeah um that you know or the bad ex it erased the bad experience yeah. that I felt before yeah so it's definitely changed that yeah. do you feel like it's really different having older like gay friends like or being able to know people from different stages mm -hmm. of life Oh, yes, for sure, because I think like, you know, you gather experience as you go on in life. And I think a lot of like being in this community has taught me so many mm. things and meeting people from different stages of life mm. has taught me different things, too. Mm. And I mean, as I was saying before, like, you know, if I was straight and I was just a uni student in Hong mm. Kong, like my friend group would just be, you know, my uni friends mm. or uh, well, actually, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> or like my colleagues or whatever yeah. and like I would have never been able to meet people from like mm. all around the world and from all different age groups mm -hmm. as well so I think that has been really helpful and that's amazing yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a question yeah hello what would uh, you give yourself or someone in your situation like you a couple years ago what would you give them as one piece of advice of how to deal with what you've gone through um I think well I think what I would say is um, don't be scared of change. Mm. I think, you know, I think a lot, I mean, mm. I think in society nowadays, like the reason why people are so scared of, you know, something different or, or gay people or curry people mm. in general is because, you know, we are different, mm. you know, and uh, it's normal to be scared mm. of things that are different. Mm. But I think um, you really have to embrace who you are. Mm. Um, and really, it's not that scary to I mean, it's, you'll feel a lot more liberated mm. the minute you realize, actually, you know what, like there are people out there for me. Mm -hmm. And um, and the minute you accept that, you're going to be a lot happier, I think. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. So why is queer community important to you? So queer community is important to me because it gives me a place where I can believe in myself, mm. a place without judgment, and it's like my second home. Oh, yeah. so nice. Thank you for sharing with us today. Yeah. Uh, that it? That's, yeah, we're done.